This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Wednesday, August 19th, 2020. On Monday, when I uh, put out a call asking for folks to send in what gives them hope in this moment, one of the first people to respond uh, was my dad, who had just been uh, here in Nebraska for two weeks and had just returned to upstate New York. He wrote with a, a poem from Wendell Berry, one of his Sabbath poems from 1999. And this is how the poem goes. What a consolation it is, after the explanations and the predictions of further explanations still to come, to return unpersuaded to the woods, entering again the presence of the blessed trees. A tree forms itself an answer to its place and to the light. Explain it how you will. The only thing explainable will be your explanation. There is in the woods on a summer's morning bird song all around. From guess where, nowhere. That rigid measure which predicts only humankind's demise. So I wrote back to Dad asking that he clarify that the thing that, uh, that gives him hope is a Wendell Berry poem that ends with humanity's demise. And he wrote back this, I, I take hope and solace in the fact that a lot of the world will abide without me and without us. Isn't it hopeful to know that fixing all this doesn't depend on me? In fact, a lot of the world doesn't even need me at all and we'll get along just fine. There is a piece to that. There is a hope to that. There's a, a certain letting go of recognizing that we're not in control of everything all the time. And Wendell Berry, I think, is one of the great examples of that because he writes both with deep cynicism about humanity, but also this incredibly gentle, grace-filled language of place and belonging. Finding a way to hold those two things at the same time is, is a hope-filled endeavor to say that yes, in Kentucky, where Wendell Berry writes, there is ecological devastation, and yes, the land is beautiful and still nourishing. See you tomorrow.